total tangent <laughs> thought for me, and I enjoy your comment on it. One thinks of world artists who are known, one thinks of Weiwei, one thinks of, you know, so many. In thinking of that generally, I'm thinking this is from Yoko Ono, mm -hmm. there are almost no world known female artists. I don't care whether you're in sculpture, painting, acting, whatever. There's almost, they're all male, aren't mm -hmm. they? I don't know enough to... to there's, there's none coming to mind, right? When I think of Yoko Ono, I thought, well, maybe she was the most, certainly in the Western world, the most, the most known Asian yeah. artist. Yeah, uh, Asian female artist. And maybe that's why she Globally, came under such attack, America. such misogyny, such this, such that. Well, that, and, and she came into a world of male pop culture, right? It, when she, when right. she and John hooked up, um, she was entering world of of um, uh, of, of uh, male dominated yeah. rock culture, and <sighs> where all the wives or girlfriends stayed in the background. Yeah. Let alone if you're not a white yeah. wife or girlfriend. And basically saying I'm an artist on equal standing, right. or uh, I'm an artist on equal standing, and here's my new husband basically doing my art. Like imagine. Um, John Lennon's iconic song is basically him doing Yoko Ono's instruction poems. It's it's sort of his edited version of her. Which, which song is that? Imagine, imagine oh, really? there's no heaven. I mean, if you read wow. if you read um, um, her book Grapefruit, it's things like imagine. Um, uh, it's it's every every other one is imagine like cut a hole in the sky, poke your head out. What do you see? Like they're they're thought experiments, um, and. Her, and Bed In For Peace is a classic Ono sort of performance piece. Just the, and they were doing it together on a much larger platform because he brought in this the the the, the spotlight that uh, of of his pop celebrity, and it it was almost inevitable in the climate that was in the climate of the time that she would become the object of hatred. But to the extent it was just shocking. And yet they shot him. They shot him. Interesting narrative. Yeah. Interesting narrative. That well, he was shocked. It, it's been alarming, though. Um, there, I remember at the time that I was writing the the play, she put out um, an album called War Zone, and a, a local Toronto paper, which is no longer around, um, put out a review saying, uh, you know, if only Mark David Chapman had 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 aimed, you know, one foot to the right, and. And Howard Stern was making similar kind of comments on the radio. So at the time, so this is in like the late 90s. So, and I know that when I was talking to my contact at Studio One, that they were really concerned about, about this second wave of, of uh, you know, too bad she's not dead kind of uh, rhetoric. And that was, uh, to a certain degree, part of their enthusiasm uh, around supporting my play. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet her? Um, I met her once before the play when she was at, uh, she was playing at Lee's Palace. Suki and Lee knew some of the people in the band, so I was about to leave, and then Suki and goes, Jin Yoon, Yoko Ono wants to meet you. So that's the only time I met her. What was it like? It was, it was, it was nice. It was just, it was, but it was more like, oh yes, because she hadn't really read the, she hadn't read the thing. I'd, I'd left it at Studio One, but they right, hadn't really, right, right. yeah. She's still alive, isn't she? Yeah. Wow. Still alive and kicking, still on Twitter. Still making art. 